So relationship. So relationship is a key feature in the relational database. Uh, the normalization rules decide that uh, how many tables you should have um, depending on the project you are working with. And the relationship uh, will define that how you're going to connect, relate different tables together. So basically those are um, two types of relationship. One is a relationship with itself. So here we call it entity or the table. So um, uh, so that means uh, the, the relationship with the table itself. The second type is the, the relationship is the relationship with other tables. So table with other tables. Or sometimes we call it entity with other entities because after the normalization rules, each table represents one specific feature or one specific entity. So here we also call the tables as entities. Uh, we will not cover that type of the relationship in this class. So we will focus on the entity with other entities. Uh, so specifically, there are three types of the relationship that between different tables or between different entities. Um, that is one-to-one -one relationship, uh, one-to-many relationship or one-to-m relationship, and also many-to-many -many relationship or m-to-m -m relationship. Okay, so one-to-one -one relationship uh, is kind of lit uh, it's probably the simplest one. So that basically means that each instance of entity A is related to one instance of entity B. So here's the entity again referred to the tables and the instance referred to the rows. Okay, so, so for example, we have the teacher table that representing the teacher entity. And each instance or each row will represent one specific teacher. So instance refer to the rows, and entities refers to uh, to the teachers or to the tables. So here uh, we have a scenario that okay for table one, all the rows have one corresponding record on table two. Okay. So their relationship is one to one. Okay. Um, so one common uh, simple example is for example our uh, social security number and also our driver's license. So uh, in a perfect world, each person should has one SSN and also each person should has only one driver license number. So in that case, it is a one to one relationship. So a person or instance on this, for example, the tax table, the uh, SSN should have one SSN. And also each person on the, for example, the, uh, the traffic table should also have one driver's license. And, and those are one to one relationship. Okay. And to handle that relationship, so it's pretty simple. So we can put the primary key uh, a one as foreign key on the other side. So for example, if you have the SSN and also you can use the driver license and on another table, so the driver license. Okay, so on the SSN table, this is a primary key and also on the driver license, this is a primary key, driver license number. And on the SSN table, the driver license number will be the foreign key, which refers, okay, to the primary key on the uh, on the driver's table. Okay, and the relationship is one to one relationship. All right, so that is the one to one relationship. Uh, we also have one to many relationship. So that means one records in table A is related to one or more records on table B. Okay, one records on table A is related to one or more records on table B. Okay, uh, so one scenario will be that one teacher will teach multiple courses. Okay, so this teacher teach one class and also this teacher teach two classes. 
Okay, so that is one to many relationship. So here uh, we don't consider the co-teaching scenario. So we assume that there's only one teacher for each single class, and uh, and a class can only be taught by one teacher. Okay, and one teacher can teach multiple classes. And to handle that type of relationship, so the order is one is very important. So the prime key of one will be the form key on the M side. So you cannot do the other way. So the prime key of one side will be the form key on the M side. So specifically here we have the teacher table. And here we have the course table. Okay. Uh, so on the teacher table, we have the teacher ID. And on the course table, we have the course ID. Okay. If we want to relate those two tables together, we have to put the primary key of M side as foreign key on the, of one side as foreign key on the M side. So that we put teacher ID on the teacher on the course table because uh, each course may be multiple teachers. So like course one, two, three, and teacher one and also teacher two. In this case, course one and also course two are taught by teacher one and cost three is taught by teacher two, okay? And in this scenario, uh, the teacher ID will be the primary key on the teacher table, cost ID will be the primary key on the cost table, and teacher ID will be the foreign key on the cost table. And it re refers to the primary key on the uh, teacher table, and the relationship is one to many. Okay, so the relationship is one to many. Okay, so that is one to many relationship. The last type of the relationship is many to many relationship. So that basically means that uh, each records or each row on table A is related to one or many records on teacher on table B. And each records on table B is related to one or many records on table A. Okay. And one example is that, for example, one student can take multiple classes. Okay. One student can take multiple classes. And one class, okay, for example, this student can take two classes, is taking two classes. And one class can be taken by multiple students. Okay, so that is many-to-many -many relationship. Okay, so, so that is many-to-many -many relationship. And in this scenario, we cannot handle, we cannot link or relate two tables directly because we cannot handle many-to-many -many relationship directly in relational database. And the method is that we split those two, we, we put, we introduce a third table, which we call it the correlation table. Okay. Or in this scenario, we call it in row table. Okay. So we put many to many relationship into two many, one to many relationship one-to-many relationship and one-to-many relationship. Okay, so let's see how that look like. Uh, so we have student table. Okay, so we have student ID. Um, student ID, so that one and two. And here we have the cost table. Okay, cost table. And we have the cost ID, okay. We have one and also two. So both those two tables now have many to many relationship, uh, but we cannot link two tables together. In this case, we have our third table, and um, that is a correlation table. Okay, so that is correlation table, which has student ID and also the course ID. Okay, so 
we introduce the third table that to handle those many to many relationship. So for example, if student one is taking course one, okay, student one is talk, taking course two, and student two is taking course one, and also student two is taking course two. Okay. Uh, so in this case, student ID on this correlation table on this enroll table will be the foreign key and the course ID will be another foreign key. So remember that we can have two foreign keys on the table. And student ID on the student table will be the primary key and the course ID on the course table will be the primary key. Okay. So that student table will refer to that primary key. So that is a one to many relationship. And the cost ID will refer to the cost ID on the cost table. So that is also a many to one relationship. Okay. So students table and the cost table are many to many relationship. So we, we handle that relationship relationship by introduce introducing the third table so that is enroll list table okay which have which has two foreign keys and so that is one to many relationship between student and enroll list and also one to many relationship between cost and also enroll list so in this case which one will be the prime key on the enroll list table which one will be the primary key on the enroll list table? So the answer is that uh, those two columns together will be the primary key. So student ID plus the cost ID together will be the primary key because the combination are unique. The combinations of those two keys are unique and they can serve as the primary key. Okay, so that's how we can handle many to many relationship. So we cannot handle those directly, but instead we are introducing the third table which is called correlation table. And so we can link to many to many table together.